Hello there. Good day to you. The title of my talk today is Conscious Mind vs. Subconscious Mind. As the title suggests, the mind is actually made up of conscious mind and subconscious mind. Scientists did a research on the brains of a group of people to establish what areas of brain were used to solve a mathematic problem using a PET scan. The experiment amazed the scientists with their findings where over 98% of the mind is automated and it took care of functions such as heart, lungs, circulation and movements. The brain scan lit up in six distinct areas when the subjects were working through the mathematic problem. A drip sedative was administered to the subjects as they were working through the problem and the dosage was increased gradually until the subjects fell asleep. What the researchers found through the PET scan image was the light in the area of the brain where these subjects were doing the mathematic problem went out but five other areas in the brain the light remained lit up. The conclusion is there are in fact six areas of simultaneous thinking in the human brain. One conscious and five subconscious. During your waking state both the conscious mind and the subconscious mind operates. On the other hand in your sleep or unconscious state, only your subconscious mind operates. The subconscious mind represented five-sixths and the conscious mind only represented one-sixth of the brain's thinking and power. In other words, your subconscious mind is five times more powerful than your conscious mind. It is now understandable why most of the time one does not have enough willpower to change an old undesirable habit. It has been an uphill task because the willpower comes under the domain of conscious mind whereas the habit comes under the domain of subconscious mind which is five times much stronger than the conscious mind. Thus, your willpower gets easily defeated. In the past, if you have not been able to achieve your goals, now you will understand why that was not possible. Your conscious and subconscious mind has to be harmonious and aligned in order for you to achieve your desired goals. Now that you have discovered that your subconscious mind is five times more powerful than your conscious mind, think of the possibilities you could accomplish if only you could make the subconscious mind listen to you. Starting today for the rest of your life, feed and nourish your subconscious mind with desirable thoughts for you to achieve your goals. To listen to more of such talks on mind power, visit CosmicShine.com that is C-O-S-M-I-C-S-H-I-N-E dot com. This is Tiagan taking leave from you for now.